Welcome to the Digital Nest. This is a 21st Century Workforce Development Center um, located in Watsonville with the mission of building the skills and capacity of youth in this community to compete for 21st century jobs. Jacob, Jacob Martinez, Executive Director and Founder of the Digital Nest. Um, we sat down with this idea in October 2013 and here we are just uh, over a year later um, with our doors open and ready to start working with youth. And we're going to be providing all the technology for the students, so students are not going to have to absorb that cost, and families are not going to have to absorb that cost. Instead, we'll provide the laptops, we'll provide the software, we'll provide the training, and to get them prepared for these jobs, and then getting them out into the workforce, and um, building local economies. I'm the mayor here for the city of Watsonville. We're just very excited that the day is here upon us, that we can open the digital mess to the community, to the students. Uh, it's just going to serve as a vital resource for our young folks, but also for the larger community as a whole. Um, I'm going to turn this over to our executive director, Jacob Martinez, in a tiny bit. But I did want to just acknowledge some folks that are here with us, some elected officials that took time out of their day just to come support. A lot of them have given uh, with their resources and we hope they will continue to do so to make sure this is a sustainable project and a sustainable space uh, for all of our young people to be able to enjoy. Um, first of all, I wanted to thank our supervisor, Zach Fred, who's probably here with us somewhere. Oh, yes. uh, we also have Dana Sales, who serves on the Santa Cruz County uh, Full Office of Education, so he's here as well, Dana Sales. Uh, we also have PBUSD Board President Kimberly DeSerpa, also somewhere around here. Cabrillo College Dis District Trustee representing the City of Watsonville, Margarita Carrillo. Uh, we also have former Mayor and Santa Cruz City Council Member Hillary Bryant that was with us this evening, and as well as new Councilwoman-elect uh, Rebecca Garcia for the City of Watsonville. Um, and so thank all of you for coming out and joining us this afternoon. So I just want to thank everybody for coming today. I think what you're all seeing right now is, this is how we got here, is community. And that's what we're building inside there, is community for our youth, community uh, where young adults can come and, and not have to have barriers in front of them when they want to think about their future or their careers. And it's because of all of you that have made this possible. I mean, it's, this has been a real community effort from the first time I sat down and threw this idea out at somebody was just in October of last year. And here we are just over a year later and we're, we're opening the doors. Um, so thank you all of you um, who have taken the time and, and have donated and who have just believed in, believed in me and the, the board and, and, and our youth and, and made this possible. Um, most importantly, there's been four people that have really been most affected by this. And that's my kids and my wife. Um, so thank you for supporting me. And now, on behalf of the Pajaro Valley Chamber of Commerce, we'd like to welcome you. And uh, you get one shot and one shot only here. So get your cameras ready. Um, and here we go.